five things our clients wish they'd known before they'd moved to Orange County, California. Now, the reason I say our clients is because Sean and I are native Southern Californians. So to us, it's like some of the things that people say like, to us. You didn't know that? Yeah, or like it's not even in our consciousness to be like, oh, that's not how, you know, it is in other places, you know. So I guess, you know, we don't notice things that other people notice that are not from here. So let's get right into it. One of the things that people say to us is, you know, they wish they had explored more outside of Irvine because, you know, a lot of reason that people get interested in Orange County is because of Irvine. They've heard of Irvine. It's, you know, all over the news, all over the world. And, you know, so many people want to live there. And yeah. then they come and then they're like, I wish we would have explored outside because there's so much more to Orange County than Irvine. Not to say that Irvine is great. Like, I love Irvine. It's just that you know, there's so much more that it has to offer. Yeah, exactly. Irvine's not a one size fits all. So it yeah. depends on like what you're looking for. You may find that a actually different city actually makes a little bit more sense, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's where, you know, again, it, it helps to kind of, whenever I'm having a conversation with someone that's let's say looking for Irvine, I inevitably, okay, obviously based off the conversation, I kind of go, well, what, let's kind of add these cities to that search yeah. just to see if that, you know, if something resonates there, because you may find that's a better fit, you know, not just only budget wise, but just general vibe. I mean, like, you know, mm -hmm. like, you know, people have reached out that had already moved out here and moved to Irvine, let's say didn't like it. We, we, we moved them somewhere else and they go, oh, you know what? Perfect fit. This is fantastic. Another thing people wish they knew before coming out here to Orange County and moving here is that just how expensive it is to <laughs> air condition their home in the summer, especially if you have an older air conditioning unit. So, you know, as native Southern Californians, we're just like used to that energy here is very expensive and the homes in Orange County, you know, they tend to be on the quote older side, meaning like 1970s to like, you know, 2000s. So, you know, that means that you could have an air conditioning unit that's like 30 years old. So. I have a way to fix that though. What? Buy a home on the beach. <laughs> that's true. That is true. You have to deal with a whole other different yeah. cost situation. <laughs> so it's a little bit more expensive than just it replacing is. your HVAC system, yeah. but that will take care of all that issue. But you know, I mean, having said joke, all joking aside, mm -hmm. yes, like, especially if you're like a little bit inland in Orange County it, and not, not by much, right? Like those summer months, you're inevitably going to have a few weeks where it's going to be pretty hot. And yeah. so you're going to be right, you know, running your air conditioner and you'll be surprised that, especially if it's an original, right? Yeah. It's like, or even replaced 20 years ago. It doesn't operate as, as efficiently as it initially did, especially or like ones that are on the market. So, you know, you just want to have that budgeted in. Either you're going to be paying higher, higher energy costs or budgeting in a brand new HVAC system, which isn't cheap, but it'll pay for itself over time. Yeah. So before we continue, let's introduce ourselves. I'm Sean Dazad. And I'm Courtney Dazad, and we are licensed real estate agents here in the state of California. And if you're watching this channel, you might be thinking, wow, Sean, I love Orange County. I love the fact that even when it's raining, it's sunny. I don't know what this is all about. I can't wait to move out here now. The problem is I'm not local. I may be out of state. I may be even out of the country, so I don't know what to do. And I totally get that. That's when you reach out to us. We can have that conversation, find out specifically what you're looking for, be your boots on the ground. We can provide virtual tours, not just the property, but the neighborhoods as well. So when you do come out here, your time is spent super efficiently. So what you wanna do is you wanna give us a call or shoot us a text. Yes, that number is the cell phone. So you can call us or text us, or you can use WhatsApp if you're outside the country. Another thing that people wish they'd known before they moved to Orange County is that there are great, highly ranked schools all over the county, no matter what city you're in. I think sometimes people think, oh, you know, the good schools, quote, you know, according to the rankings are all in Irvine. I gotta be in Irvine because of that. And, you know, we've actually done videos about this. You know, there was a recent survey by US News and World Report that found high schools literally all over the county, like truly any city that you're in, you have the option. Maybe, you know, the school that you're zoned for isn't the most highly ranked according to the ranking sites, but you have options with like charter schools, different programs, that kind of stuff. So I think that's what people kind of get like confused by that. I feel yeah, like. And actually also what's interesting is that the coastal cities surprisingly have really good schools. Like, you know, a lot of yeah, times people like think, rankings, yeah. yeah, so a lot of times people think that, oh, it's a coastal city, the priority is not necessarily school or whatever that might be. In fact, they actually rate pretty highly according to niche.com or greatschools.org. Yeah. They rate pretty highly. So that's kind of like where you don't necessarily just be in a good, you know, go to a good school. You don't have to necessarily be just in Irvine necessarily. Even, again, rated very highly. Irvine is fantastic. Yeah. But at the same time, there are other options beyond Irvine. Yeah, for sure. Another thing that people wish they'd known, and this is people that maybe have never even been to Southern California, is they wish they'd known that it was actually colder here than what they thought. Because a lot of times, if you've never been to Southern California, people think, oh, it's like Florida. You know, you're all you're never gonna need a sweater. It's always warm. It's actually not true. I mean, it's never that cold here, but you know, I'm wearing a sweater right now. Like you do have. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's not yeah. a good indication. Yeah, I like... wear sweaters in the summer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so. 
Your tolerance to cold is, is very, very low. low. But it is true that people think, you know, they're surprised by how, you know, chilly it is, how chilly the, the ocean water is. So, yeah. Yeah, exactly. We're definitely not Florida, right? Mm -hmm. And also, like, we, you know, we I brought this up in another video that your mom actually, when she used to work in Nordstrom mm -hmm. way back when, the number one item that tourists would inevitably buy mm -hmm. when they got here was actually a, like a little jacket, yeah. or like a light jacket because mm -hmm. They packed just t-shirts. They didn't yeah. they didn't actually anticipate that there was gonna be anything but nice warm air perpetually. And again, yeah. we what we have going for us, we're not Florida, right? So our winters are a little cooler, but our summers are a lot cooler. Yeah. Like our summers are much nicer. We don't have that humidity. But again, we don't have the bath water warm like ocean. Yeah. But again, that's what keeps the humidity low at too. And obviously you don't have to worry about hurricanes, except for that horrific tropical storm that <laughs> ran right through here last yeah. year that yeah. <laughs> really was just a harrowing experience. Yeah, Sean's being facetious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Another thing that people wish they'd known is just how limited the inventory is in terms of homes that are for sale. And so they wish that they'd started looking earlier. So Sean can specifically speak to this because yeah that's just something that's unique to not only just here but honestly like the entire united states it's just very limited homes for sale yeah and i would actually say this is an interesting thing it's not just about the limited inventory but i think that sometimes people overcomplicate things like oh i need to move out you know when i decide to move i'll move out here i'll i'll, I'll rent for a year or whatever that might be and then decide because then I'll figure out what Orange County is. Orange County is not a tough nut to crack, honestly. So the, like you'd be surprised, surprised, like even that year, let's say you're a year out, but you, you know, you are coming from where you're coming from, you know, between maybe one or two trips out here and then obviously, you know, virtual tours that we provide and like the properties that we send your way, you'll become pretty well versed in what Orange County itself has to offer because again, it, do the areas get generally nicer or generally not as nice? Like it's not like some other like places, like some bigger cities where one street is nice, the other street is like, you know, different. Mm -hmm. So what I would say is that, you know, we can actually do a lot of like making your time super efficient while you're kind of prepping to move out here, let's say a year from now. And then when you're out here, then, you know, you maybe, may, and even if you want to rent, maybe it's just a very, very short term rental as opposed to renting for a year. Because the thing is, is that this market is so dynamic and the property inventory is on the tighter side that if you plan on just waiting it out a year, I can't say what's <laughs> the world is so different these days yeah. where I've had a lot of people that moved out here for one year rental. And the problem is, is that they got, you know, whatever they had budgeted for a particular type of property, they got completely priced out because either the prices went up like crazy or the interest rates went up like crazy. Somehow, some way things, the dynamic changed dramatically yeah. where what they could afford for the budget they had in mind is no longer available. And then they're having to settle for something that's again, not as nice as that we're hoping to have initially. And remember, we are licensed realtors here in the state of California. So as much as we love making these videos, what we love more is to help you with your real estate needs. So whether you're looking to buy or sell a home, what you want to do is when you give us a call or shoot us a text. Yes, that number is a cell phone, so you can call us or text us, or you can use WhatsApp if you're outside the country.